good evening everybody I know that uh, uh, I hadn't planned on doing Facebook live but it seems to be the preferred method of delivery and it's been pretty stable for us so far so <clears throat> I'm just gonna bring you a short message that God's laid on our heart this evening and uh, I didn't tell anybody I was doing this so um, I'm not sure that we'll have anybody jump on or not but uh, um, appreciate the opportunity to uh, uh, be in the Lord's house with him with each and every one of you that uh, came out this morning and uh, we we appreciate that I'm gonna preach just for a few minutes out of the book of third chapter of the book of Daniel um, we've been doing Facebook live while we've been having church uh, drive-in uh, church and it seems to be working well so uh, and it's a lot easier on me than it is trying to get everything uploaded to YouTube so <clears throat> but in the third chapter of the book of Daniel um, and I know a lot of people will probably go back and listen to this later. So we'll, uh, those that jump on, uh, it's good to have you with us. And uh, uh, those that watch later, I hope uh, God blesses you for it. But third chapter of the book of Daniel. <clears throat> uh, uh, in the 13th verse, the Bible says, and this is from a very, very familiar scripture. It says, Then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, It is true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up. Now if ye, now if ye be ready, uh, that at what time ye hear the sound of the uh, cornet, flute, harp, sack but psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, uh, you shall be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. And who is the God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said unto the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee concerning this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and, his, and, the, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he, said, he spake and commanded that, they should, uh, that the heat of the furnace uh, won seven times more than it wont to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their garments were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, uh, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, and these three men, Sh uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, uh, bound in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the fourth uh, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Our Father, as we bow before you, God, tonight, we pray that you'd bless the reading of thy word. Uh, God, we pray, Father Lord, that you'd undergird us with true spirit, uh, mighty majesty, Heavenly Father, Lord, and do us, God, with power from on a high. Uh, God, and fill us with the spirit of our calling that we be able to preach, thus saith the word of God. And certainly, Lord, if there was uh, one that would hear this message tonight, uh, God, that n has never uh, received you precious to their never dying soul, I pray this would be the wonderful, glorious day, time, and hour, God, when they would bow down, repent, believe upon thee and gloriously be saved. Heavenly Father, watch over us now. Bless thy word, we pray, Heavenly Father. Uh, God, as we do thy bidding, thy will tonight, we'll thank you, we'll praise you for what you do. If we ask it in Jesus' name, and for thy sake we pray, amen. And we want to look right here just uh, briefly. Uh, I promise, I know I say this often, but I really mean this tonight. I'm not going to keep you too very, very long. Uh, but in verse number uh, seven uh, or 16, 17, and 18, it says, uh, that these three Hebrew children, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, this is what I want you to pay attention to. He said, but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not 
serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. And uh, if we want to uh, preach on just a thought for just a few minutes, in verse number 16 it says, We are not, uh, we are not careful uh, to answer thee in this matter. Uh, and these three Hebrew children, we understand that, that they had come uh, and they refused to bow uh, and to do anything that the king had commanded them. And we understand that. We know that. Uh, but I want you to pay close attention. And, and, I, and I tell you, if we, uh, in this day and time, if we could ever grab a hold of something, uh, uh, thankful for the Spirit of God tonight. It says, Old Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful. Uh, to answer thee in this matter. Uh, and friends, tonight, listen, if we could ever grab a hold of, of the one thing that we are victorious. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 15, uh, it says that, uh, that uh, flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, listen, it said at the twinkling, at the moment of the twinkling of eye, uh, at the last trump, the dead shall uh, be raised incorruptible. And he said, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, this mortal must put on immortality. So when the saying is brought to pass and uh, that uh, this mortal shall have put on immortality uh, and this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, he said, so then shall be brought to pass the saying which is written, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? And friends, Listen, I just want to be a voice of encouragement uh, just for a few minutes tonight. I want to encourage you to press on, uh, to, uh, to be, uh, you know, uh, the Bible speaks about, Paul write, writes to us about being persuaded. He said in the eighth chapter of the book of Romans, uh, in the 38th verse, he said, I, I am persuaded uh, that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ. Jesus our Lord. And I'm glad friends, listen, that being persuaded uh, listen, and being fully manifest uh, and an indweller of the third person of the Godhead, being saved, washed in the glorious blood of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm glad that we don't have to be careful uh, concerning matters in this life and in this world. Uh, friends, listen, Jesus told us in the Gospels, he said, fear not him uh, which hath the, uh, the authority or the ability to, to destroy this flesh. But he said, fear him uh, which has the ability to destroy not only uh, the body but the soul in hell and friends today listen I'm glad that we can uh, we can be fully persuaded uh, that we can walk in this world just as the three Hebrew children did just as Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego hey the Bible said old Nebuchadnezzar uh, they gave strong swift declaration to the king they said we are not careful uh, uh, to answer thee in this matter he said if it be so I uh, our God whom we serve. He is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And I've preached a number of messages on God being able. And friends, tonight I'm glad that God is sufficient. That he is able. That he has the ability to deliver us and whatsoever and whatever persists or pursues or follows after us in this life. Friends, listen, we get into this and I I know that we focus a lot on our current state and uh, circumstances and the virus that uh, has driven us uh, away from our lives. It's driven us into quarantine. Uh, friends, listen, uh, a lot of us today, we are, uh, we, are, uh, we are running out of fear. And I preach this message several, several times. Uh, uh, listen, but the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 7, uh, for God's not given us this spirit of fear, uh, but he's given us a power and love and a sound mind. Listen, I believe friends tonight that God, I believe that faith can conquer every fear that we have in our lives. Listen, I believe that God has given us enough influence and intellect in our minds that we should be faithful, that we should persevere, that we should be wise in all things. But friends, listen, I'm glad listen, that we've got something far better. Listen, and we preached on this this morning in the 11th chapter of the book of of Hebrews, the Bible tells us this. Uh, listen, he said, Abraham, uh, uh, did he look for a city uh, uh, which hath foundations whose builder uh, and maker is God. Friends, listen, I'm glad uh, that we can press
press on in perseverance that we can press on because we know if we've truly, truly encountered the convicting power of God. Listen, if we've come under the imposition of hands, friends, and we've fully committed and surrendered ourselves and our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm glad, friends, tonight, listen, that we can have victory in our lives. Listen, death, hell, and the grave, it has been defeated. It has been overthrown. I'm glad, friends, listen, on that glorious day when Jesus, the Bible tells us, listen, you can read this in Revelation chapter number one. Uh, the Bible tells us, I'm going to go over here and read this in Revelation uh, chapter 1. Uh, uh, we've quoted it often, but I want to read it tonight. Uh, uh, listen, the Bible said in Revelation 1, he said in, uh, in verse number 12, And I turned to see uh, the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Uh, uh, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one uh, uh, likened unto the Son of Man, uh, uh, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paths uh, uh, with a golden girdle. Friends, listen, I'm glad that he stands uh, uh, in the middle of the church today. I'm glad that he is the head of this body. I'm glad that he leads us, that he gives us utterance, friend, that he cast his light, friends, down among us. And the Bible says that he was clothed with a garment down to the foot, and he was girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Friends, listen, there is righteousness in his head. Uh, listen, as white as snow, his eyes uh, as a flame of fire. Uh, friends, listen, I'm glad uh, that there is a soul cleansing fire. Hey, well, hey, the Bible tells us this. Uh, listen, in one place the Bible said that John the Baptist, he came uh, uh, baptizing under repentance and lo, uh, on the bank uh, of the Jordan River, he seen uh, uh, the second person of the Trinity, the incarnate of God, uh, walking Walking on the bank of the Jordan River. And he said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Listen, he said, Lo, I baptize thee with water, but there's one that cometh after me, of whose shoe latches I'm not even worthy to unloose. He said, He said, He shall baptize you with fire in the Holy Ghost. Well, thankful friends tonight, listen, that we have. Uh, the soul cleansing fire uh, of our Father's eyes uh, uh, that purifies us. Listen, uh, uh, we don't mean to run a tangent here, but the Bible says, uh, uh, listen, his eyes were as a flame of fire, his feet uh, uh, like unto fine brass, uh, as if they by, uh, burned in a furnace, and his voice uh, as the sound uh, of many waters. Friends, thankfully tonight, uh, uh, listen, we have, uh, uh, listen, the voice of our Savior, uh, Listen, it can penetrate uh, uh, through all things. There is nothing harboring nor binding, uh, uh, friends. But listen, uh, the voice of the Son of God, uh, uh, listen, is it proliferates out through uh, uh, the gospel church and into, th into society. Uh, uh, friends, listen, the Bible says uh, uh, in Revelation 1 in verse number 16, uh, uh, listen, for the gospel uh, is the power of God unto salvation uh, uh, to the Jew first and all so uh, to the Greek friends listen I'm glad uh, that the penetrating uh, word of God as it goes out uh, uh, friends thank for uh, listen for a time in my life a time in your life uh, uh, friends listen uh, if you're saved by the grace of God thankful for a time when the spirit of God spoke uh, uh, through the preaching of the gospel through the fervency of the man of God uh, uh, listen as he grabbed hold uh, of the spirit of God uh, and fires flew as the Spirit spoke and gave utterance. Friends, listen. I'm glad that there was a time when the Word of God penetrated. Listen, this broken body. Listen, and this convicted soul. And He gloriously saved me as I surrendered unto my Savior. Listen, the Bible said in verse 16, And He had in His right hand seven stars, and out of His mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. And 
his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. Oh, friends, tonight, listen, I'm thankful. Listen, we quoted this this morning. We quoted often. In John 1 and 1, the Bible said, In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him without him. There's nothing made that is made. Friends, listen, I'm glad, friends, tonight that the Word transcends me, that it transcends you. I'm glad that the Word of God, listen, the Word of God has the authority, it has the power to seek and to save all those that would surrender unto our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, hey, in his countenance where the sun shineth, uh, sun shineth uh, in his strength. And, uh, and when I saw him, <laughs> oh, John the Revelator, I listen, he said he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. I no doubt he had found himself in a place of despair. I, listen, history tells us this. I, oh, oh, St. John Divine, I, I, listen, I, he was a, a persistent preacher of the gospel. He was the, the, the hey, he was a persistent preacher of the gospel. He was uh, the one in whom he laid his head on Jesus' bosom. Listen, and they tried to extinguish him. They tried to squelch his voice. They told him to quit preaching. Listen, history would have it that they, listen, that they rolled up a basin of oil and they throwed him in it. They was just going to cook him and burn him alive. But the oil wouldn't boil. And they didn't know what to do with him. They didn't know where to cast him. So they said, I know what we'll do, how we can silence his voice. They said, we'll take him out on a desert aisle and we'll set him aside. Listen, he'll die from starvation and being isolated. His voice will never be heard again. Old John said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. I don't know what he was singing. I don't know what he was praying, but thank God Jesus passed by. Amen. Listen, hey, and old John, as he looked up, he saw with fear in his eyes. Listen, and the Bible said, hey, John said as he penned in verse 17, he said, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me and saying unto me, fear not, I am the first and the last. Listen, he said, I... I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have possessed currently the keys of hell and death. Friends, listen to me. I'm not looking for him one day in the future to destroy and conquer death. I'm glad that it's already been conquered. I'm not looking yet again for another sacrificial lamb. My lamb has already came. I'm looking for the lamb. Uh, friends, let's thank God. Uh, hey, I'm looking for the voice of the line of the tribe of Judah as he steps out. Uh, uh, listen into the clouds of glory. Uh, uh, listen, and he declares uh, uh, that time shall be uh, uh, no more. Uh, friends, listen. Uh, uh, and I'm glad that there's going to be a great homecoming day. Amen. Uh, uh, listen, when all the children of God, uh, uh, listen, will be assembled yet again. In in one place. Hey, friends, we'll lock arms. Listen, and go into that blessed place. Listen, that city that has been prepared and adorned. Listen, prepared as a bride. Friends, we'll enter into that city together. Listen, thankfully, hey, when, when this betrothment is made a marriage and Jesus calls, listen, the bride home. Thankful, friends. Oh, thankful that he has uh, the keys of hell and death. Uh, well, thankful he's alive uh, forevermore. Amen. Uh, hey, friends, listen. Uh, and we'll get back to this now. I know I went off on a tangent. 
and I said I wasn't going to keep you long. But boy, I appreciate the spirit and the power of God. Friends, listen, in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they said, oh, king, we're not careful to answer thee concerning this matter. They said, now listen, I want you to hear what they said. They said, king, we don't know. Listen, we're not real sure. Listen, if he will deliver us from this furnace or not. Friends, listen, I know that the hospitals tonight, the nursing homes, those blessed loved ones that we love so much within our church house and all of our sister churches. Friends, listen, I know that maybe they're on the brink. Listen, I don't know whether it's Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or cancer. Friends, listen, I don't know if it's an imminent, imminent heart attack. I don't know. Listen, what it is. I don't know what it is for me, but I do know this. I don't know whether he'll deliver me from it or not, but one thing I'm careful. Listen, in the fact is, I'm not going to surrender to anything in this world. Friends, listen. Hey, because goodbye here is hello there. Amen. Hey, as the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 5, in verse number 21, listen, he said, to be absent from the body, or excuse me, verse number 10, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Now listen, they said, O King Nebuchadnezzar, we're not careful concerning this matter. Listen, they said, I don't know if he's going to save us or not, but whether he does or whether he don't has no impact on my decision. Listen, he said, if it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. If that's God's will, that's what he can do. But then verse number 18, listen, let us not fret, let us not forget. Friends, listen, the Bible teaches, I'll get to this in a minute, the Bible teaches in another parable that Jesus told him, he said, listen, he said, you be likened unto a man and he said, he, he said, one man built his house upon the rock and another man he took and he built his house on the sand. The Bible said the rains descended, the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house. And listen, the Bible said he that had taken his foundation on the sand, he said great was the fall of it for he'd taken his foundation on the sand. But listen, we need not forget this one thing. The rains, the wind and the flood, they came to the man uh, that had built his house on the rock. Uh, you see, uh, hey, it's not about the house, it's about the foundation. Uh, hey, friends, listen, these will be things in this life that will come upon us. We don't know how we'll fare, but I'm glad, friends, listen, that I know where my foundation lies. Amen. Hey, friends, listen, uh, and these three Hebrew children, these three young boys, they said, uh, God's got the power power to deliver us. But he said, but if he, but if he don't, be it known unto thee, O king, that we still will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Friends, listen, thankful friends tonight. Woo, thankful friends tonight. Listen, they had reached a place of persuasion in, them, in their lives. Friends, listen, as Paul addressed King Agrippa, listen, and he preached the gospel unto him. He's told Paul, he said, said, Paul, thou almost persuadest me to be the Christian. I, Paul said, I would to God I, that thou were more than almost, that thou were all together. I, I, friend, that's my prayer for you tonight. I, I, listen, I, I, my prayer is that you almost I, I, are not persuaded, but you are all together persuaded I, that we could have the faith I, I, to execute as these three Hebrew children did. Now listen. In verse number 19, that made old Nebuchadnezzar mad. He said, listen, Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury form and his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Friends, listen, I'm going to tell you something. This made this man incredibly, furiously mad. Listen, he had never been talked to like this before. Friends, listen, I tell you what, I hope, friends, tonight, listen, that you've got a Christian life. I hope that you've got enough faith in and 
of yourself. Listen, that the devil hates to lock horns with you. Friends, listen, I'm glad, friends, listen, that we can make declarations in our lives. Hey, friends, hey, and it sits, I'm going to tell you something, you live for the Lord, there's a lot to follow that comes with it. Amen. Hey, but listen, the Bible tells us this. In verse 20, the Bible says, it made him so mad, he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the burning fiery furnace. He said these men were bound in their coats, their hose and their hats, and their other garments and were cast in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. He said, therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding high, <coughs> the flame of the fire slew those men that had took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You see, they were just trying to throw them in the furnace and it killed them. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished, rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? They said, they answered and said, O king, true, O king. He answered, he answered and he said, Lo, I see four men and they're loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt and the fourth uh, and the form of the fourth uh, is like the son of God friends I want to tell you something tonight I, I, it's not always God's will to deliver us from the fire but sometimes it is God's will for him to get in the fire with us amen oh friends listen there'll be there'll be things in our life that shall and will come against us understandably so uh, friends listen it's not always that God would deliver us from those things, but God would deliver us through those things. Friends, listen to me. I'm going to tell you something. The cross of Calvary was another picture. Hey, listen. Jesus didn't want it to pass over him. He wanted it to pass through him. Amen. Uh, listen. Uh, judgment came and it passed through Christ uh, so it could pass over me uh, and so it could pass over you. Friends, listen. He said, he answered and he said, Lo, O king, I see four men loose and they're walking in the midst of the fire. Uh, friends, and he said, the four hath a form of the Son of God. Listen, I'm going to read this to you and then I'm going to wind up and be done. It says, and uh, Paul wrote to us in 2 Corinthians 5 and verse number 1. Uh, listen, he said, for we know if this earth, the house of, uh, of this tabernacle were dissolved, uh, uh, we have a building of God not made with hands, uh, uh, eternal in the heavens. He said, for in this we groan, earnestly desiring uh, uh, to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven. If so, that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. Amen. He said, for we that are in this tabernacle do groan be burdened, uh, uh, not for what we should be unclothed, but clothed upon that morality might be swallowed up with life. Uh, uh, now he that hath wrought us for the self, th self same thing is God, who also hath given unto us the earnest uh, of his spirit. You go read uh, Ephesians chapter 1 verse number 13, and it says this, uh, in whom after you uh, ye believed you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest uh, of your inheritance until the purchase of the prize possession. Friends, listen. Now the Bible says not uh, he that wrought us for the self same thing as God who also have given us the earnest of his spirit. Therefore we are always confident knowing that whilst we are at home in the body we are absent from the Lord. Uh, listen, for we walk by faith not by sight. Listen, I want to say this and I'll be done. We are confident I say and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Amen. We are not careful to answer thee in this matter. God bless you. We love you. I hope, friends, if you're listening tonight or, or if you listen later, whatever whatever may be the case, I hope that if you're saved, I hope that you can rejoice in the fact that you know what you have. And if you're not saved, I hope that you'd bow down right now, wherever you are. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord all things. Confess all things. Repent, the Bible says. Repent, believe, and ye shall be saved. He said, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God bless you. We love you tonight.